In this video, I will be explaining how to use the calculator BA Plus from Texas Instrument to solve problems related to discrete probability distribution. Basically, what I'm going to explain is how to compute the mean. So how to compute the expected value that you can symbolize this way or this way. I'm also going to explain how to compute the standard deviation and how to compute the variance in case that we have a table like the one that we have. We have all the possible values of the variables and their probabilities. If we have this, how to compute all these numbers, expected value. This calculator allow me to do that. This calculator actually helped me to, to study statistics with one variable or to compute measurements with one variable. We have a variable add when we use one variable and we have another variable that we call it y that usually is the frequency in which each value appears. Here we don't have frequency, so we cannot use this number as a frequency because the frequency needs to be a whole number. But anyway, we are going to be using the data worksheet and the stat worksheet to compute the mean and the standard deviation of this variable. How? Instead of using frequencies, what they are going to be using is the probabilities. But this calculator doesn't accept that the frequency will be a number with decimal places. It needs to be a whole number. So what to do to solve this issue is what I'm going to explain. So we are going to use the variable x exactly as we did it when we were computing the mean and the standard deviation of a data set. But here, instead of the frequency, we are going to be using the probability. But we need to change this probability in such a way that we can use it as a frequency. How? Eliminate the decimals. So multiply, this is equivalent to multiply each probability by a number. For example, in this case, we multiply by 100. All these decimals are going to disappear. This number one, that is the total number of the probability, it will be become a hundred. So this number will be five, this number will be 10, this number will be 61, this number will be 16, this number will be eight. And if you remember how to compute the mean and the standard devi deviation, you know what to do in this case. I'm going to solve this problem using this technique. So we are going to have here 5, this is 10, this is 61, 16, 8. So we actually construct another variable, 5, 10, 61, 16, 8, with the number of probability. And these are the inputs that we need to put into the calculator. Not the probability, but this, using the data worksheet of the BA plus calculator. We are going to input the values of x and the value of y. And the values of y will be the values of the probability multiplied by 100 in this case. So in this case, we multiply by 100. If there were three decimals, then we multiply by 1,000 if the maximum number of decimals is, is 3. For example, if this was 0 0.008, or this is 0163. Okay, there are three decimals, then we multiply by a one, followed by three zero. And if they have four decimals, the, 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 the probability, then I multiply by by 10,000. One with four zeros, etc. We're gonna be using X and Y because we have eliminated the two decimals in the probability. And these are what we are going to input in our calculator using the data worksheet of the calculator. Okay, so let's start to solve the problem. So these are the value of x, this is the value of y, and I'm going to press second, data, second, clear work. Any key that I press, you're going to see the beside the calculator, second, data, second, clear work. So as soon as you do that, in your calculator appears the screen is like this, yeah? it's x0, 1, the calculator is asking what is the first value of x, and the first value of x is the value of x, the value of the variable, 30. So I press 3, 0. And after I press three zero, so you can see the three zero, you have an enter if you don't see the equal signs. So press enter. So three zero, enter. And I scroll down. After you see the equal sign, you notice, oh yeah, I already press enter. Then scroll down. 
Scroll down the calculator asking for the first y, and the first y is this phi. It was the probability, but now the probability was multiplied by, by 100, so the decimal disappears. So you type 5 and enter. And scroll down. After any time you press one variable, x for example 40, you press 4, 0, and then enter after the number. Yeah, you, after you put the number, you don't see the equal sign, but after you enter, you see the equal sign. And after the enter, you press this, you scroll down. And you can see, for example, that the second y is 10. By default, the calculator have one, you know that. So we already, in another video, I explain how to use this calculator to compute the mean standard deviation on some measurements in the statistics. Here, we are going to be using the same worksheet to compute the expected value and the standard deviation. Okay, so then we'll be scroll down. It will be, <coughs> the, this value is 10, so type 1, 0. Enter, scroll down, x3 is 50, 5, 0. <coughs> Enter, scroll down, the third y is 61, 6, 1. Enter, scroll down, the next one is 60, the third, 66, 0. Enter, scroll down, the next y is 16, 1, 6. Enter, scroll down, the, the last x is 70. So 7, 0. Enter, scroll down, and the last y is 8. So it will be 8 and enter. That's done. All the information is in the calculator, and the calculator already knows the value of the expected value and the value of the standard deviation. Let's see, where are these values? Second, the stat. After you press the enter of the, of the last value of y, just press second stat. The Answers are in the stat worksheet of the calculator. Let's press second stat. You see here they press the is the second stat. There we five that your calculator say one variable. If the calculator has something different, you can see another video that I posted how to set up your calculator to work with one variable. But anyway, I'm explaining here, you press second set, you change the. If you see here, for example, exponential, or you see linear, you press second set and change it. Second set, if you don't see the one variable. You need to continue pressing second set to set your calculator until you see this one minus B in the screen of your calculator. This will tell you that the calculator is working with one variable. Okay, so this is, just scroll down to see the answers. For example, I noted that n equals 100. Remember that the total sum of the probability is 1, because you have multiplied every probability by 100. Now the new sum is not going to be 1, it will be 100. So that helped me to know if I'm working well. If this is 100, the same number I used in the multiplication of the probability, it means that the input has been right. If you multiply by a thousand, this n need to be one thousand. This only gonna help you for notice if you don't have any mistakes in the input of the data of the probabilities. So the answer is a hundred, but you scroll down and that tells you the mean. So the mean is 51.20. This mean is actually, here appears like sample mean, but it's actually the population mean because we have a probability distribution in this case. So we have then that the value of the population mean or the value of the expected value is 51.20. So we answer this value of the mean here. We continue going down and we see the standard deviation, but this standard deviation is the sample standard deviation. That's not the answer. The standard deviation need to be the population standard deviation. So you need to scroll down. You can scroll down and see that the population standard deviation is actually 8.75. So you can type here that the standard deviation of this random variable is 8.75. If you want to know the variance, you will need to square this number. So you need to use this x, this key here, x squared. There is no other computation 
related to probability that you can do with this worksheet. So you can compute the mean and you can compute the standard deviation. The mean is the same sample mean, by the way, but the standard deviation needs to be the population standard deviation in the calculator. Because remember, the formula for the sample and the standard deviations are different. So in this case, you use the population standard deviation that appears with these symbols in the calculators. The population standard deviation of the variable x. And if you want to compute the variance, the only that you need to do is just press this key, x squared. The symbol, the equal sign disappear in the screen because now continue the symbol of the standard deviation without the equal signs. That means that you have already pressed the x square key and the value that you have here is actually the variance. So the variance, you can answer that the variance is 76.56. How it works, how computing, in this is statistics measurements, a word for computing the probability measurements or the values for the expected value and the standard deviation. This will be an important question that I would like to deal in another video. So far I have finished to explain what to do, to compute the mean, the standard deviation and the variance using the BA plus calculator from Testas instrument. Thank you.